Well, good day to you wherever you are. You join us on a day where the weather just may have an impact on a football match that has been uh, much anticipated. It's dry at the moment, but the forecast is that it will be wet, perhaps very wet by the time the game is uh, underway and certainly by the time of the second half. The crowd, though, are here and they are in good form. There's a right old cacophony going on. The atmosphere is terrific and kickoff is moments away. So we look out here at the stands of the Maracanã, covered in shades of bright green and purple, the famous colours of Fluminense. The lineup we have suggests it's going to be a 4-5-1 formation, Jim. Well, most teams that use this system, Peter, will work it in a, a way where, yes, they'll have a 4-5-1 shape off the ball and ideally a 4-3-3 shape on it. We often see that 4-1-4-1 shape too and that has an obvious flexibility about it it's a it's a popular managerial selection because of that it's just extremely flexible with all the numbers i've mentioned so off we go then Brief, albeit perhaps momentary. Plenty of appeals, but the referee is not interested. Wagner gets rid without sophistication. to the wing it's a good looking cross and it's hoisted clear can he put it away goal oh, whose goal is that big deflection that's one for the dubious goals panel So we have our breakthrough. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Just brushed off the ball there. Fluminense are seeing a lot of the ball and have a 1-0 lead to show for it. Hardly anything between the sides, and the score is 1-0. Balls out on the left, now, going through. Defense has got rid of that. It's a promising run he's making on the right. to intervene and dispel the growing danger. There's a lot of movement up front. Yeah, I've noticed that those uh, front players are working very hard, dropping deeper. Yeah, and I just think it keeps the opposition off guard with, with so much switching of position. Keeping shape is, is much harder. Oh, good ball. Goes down, but nothing given. Gets it upfield. Well played, he saw that coming. And now the fit hits one! In it goes! And this is get 
getting better and better. Fluminense are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. starting to look very comfortable that second goal is such a, a polarizing effect on prospective moods i mean one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three henry k tries to get it forward quickly and the first half is done we can review the first half well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Fluminense ahead 2-0, and they are looking good. We have dropped the into the second 45 minutes. Top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. defense is, is wary about opposition pace so they're just not getting too tight yeah they know that if they they step up their their keeper could get a whole lot busier chance to cross here crosses into the goes for goal Good movement there but not the best of finishes now that was a slick move and there were several options in the box to uh, to pick out time for a change in personnel battles to win it back Long and direct. Oh, he wasn't being fooled. That is as far as they're going to go. It's come loose. I think the first substitutions will be coming up pretty soon. wayward Corinthians can make their change now with uh, a break in play chip through can get it clear. Corinthians, their final change. He just whacks it away. Looking to break out here. He's not going to get that. The 
Fluminense still 2-0 up and looking now to see it through. It's wrestled off the ball. That's pretty clear, it is a foul. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket, it's just a stern lecture. He's gone direct. Decent ball. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Breaks on here. And that's that. Fluminense have won it. As much industry as inspiration. Whatever the formula, it has worked for them. What are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Of course, we all love to watch the creative side of the game and goal scorers, but there's an art to good defence too, and their organisation and discipline has helped earn this win. Well, that's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me.